now we are actually going to inject the cheek, the mid face. And the mid face is a very, very important area to inject and also to improve the form of the face and to improve um, to how we actually look in many cases. And in her case, we can actually inject both the lateral parts of her cheek and also her medial parts the medial parts of the cheeks. Now, on the lateral parts of her cheeks, there are actually, it's not a danger zone, and so there are no vessels or no known vessels that we can hit when we inject the lateral cheek on top of the bone. But still, we can check, I can actually see there are no bigger vessels there. Where we do have a bigger vessel is the infraorbital artery and the infraorbital artery is getting out from the infraorbital foramen. And this vessel we do need to map when we want to inject the medial and the, fore, uh, the, 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 the front of the cheek. So here we can actually check for the vessel and I'm going I'm doing the Doppler the color Doppler here it is so in this area if we inject that I, I can see that the infraorbital artery is at that level so it's here of course it's in around at the area of the mid papillary line And in this area, it's quite superficial. So it's 1.5 millimeters depth. So what we can do is actually inject to the lateral sides of her cheek without any risk, because this is not a danger zone. This is a very safe area to inject. But if we go and we want to inject in the fore, on the fore side of her cheek, we actually do need to check where the uh, infraorbital arteries. Another artery that's a little bit more medial is the angular artery, and that artery we also will need to check if, if we want to go closer to the nose. So I will go on and I can easily inject the lateral sides. Here I'm injecting on the bone, I'm actually deep, on the zygomatic bone and that will give us a very nice result and I'm actually far from the vessels in this area because the vessels are more medial in this area <laughs> 